I guess this is the part where I have to admit that not everyone loves Die Hard. Here's Roger Ebert, late authoritative film critic himself, in his contemporary two-star review. The filmmakers introduce a gratuitous and unnecessary additional character, the deputy police chief who is in the movie for only one purpose, to be consistently wrong every step of the way. The character is so willfully useless, so dumb, so much a product of the idiot plot syndrome that all by himself he successfully undermines the last half of the movie. I have many issues with this. One, Deputy Chief Robinson isn't always wrong. If there's terrorists in there, where's their list of demands? Two, idiot plot syndrome by Ebert's own definition is that the problems of the film would go away if the characters weren't idiots, and the most important ones in Die Hard clearly are not. And three, his counterpoint to Willis's progress is neither phony nor accomplished, quote, all by himself. When we come into your men, we'll try and let you know. What I think rattles Ebert and many other viewers of a certain intellectual bent is that almost without exception, the authority figures in Die Hard are freaking useless. If anything, the deputy chief is the least bad of them, a waffly middle manager badgering his underlings Jesus Christ, pal! while paradoxically being unable to control them, Get him back! Almost in! fretting about his superiors, the mayor's gonna have my ass. and trying to look cool for the feds. The FBI is focused only on their expensive thrill ride of a playbook. Sounds like an A7 scenario. Callously unconcerned with the people they're trying to save. Lose 20, 25% of the hostages. Tops. I can live with that. LAPD SWAT is a bunch of soft-skinned bunglers who only want to play with cool toys. Send in the car. Ignoring the real cops who actually know what's going on. It's panic fire, they can't see anything. They're shooting at the lights. Even the utility workers who cut the power seem primarily concerned about not losing their jobs. Yes. Authorization? How about the United States fucking government? Hey, lose the grid or you lose your job. Furthermore, every institution in the film readily lends itself to the terrorists' ends, from the Nakatomi Corp to the emergency response systems designed to protect its workers or the media charged with informing the public. In fact, the news crew likely gets the harshest treatment here. 12 years removed from all the president's men, they're motivated purely by the rush to get their first This is my story, I, I am here out there. Settle personal scores Eat it, Harvey! and put out whatever snatches eyeballs. Tell me you got that. I got it, I got it. They fill a seemingly endless amount of airtime with whatever drivel they can find As in Helsinki, Sweden. Accurate or not Let me in right now when I call the INS no matter what the consequences may be. In retelling his first watching decades after the film's release in The New Yorker, Richard Brody casts McLean as something of a Christ figure, which is a stretch, but also notes that, quote, the pharisaical authorities to which he stands up aren't the terrorists, but the government. Die Hard is a furiously anti-bureaucratic, anti-governmental film. The movie displays throughgoing skepticism toward authority, toward officialdom, toward those in power at all levels. What critics like Ebert and Brody seem not to realize is that just because institutions work for them does not mean they work for everyone. Despite the 80s optimism we talked about earlier, it was a depressingly short hop from It's morning again in America to A few months ago I told the American people I did not trade arms for hostages. My heart and my best intentions still tell me that's true. But the facts and the evidence tell me it is not. In an era where even the Gipper couldn't fix things, and a foreign nation was buying up all our cool buildings, and blue-collar Americans were falling behind to clowns like Ellis while the fake news media tries to turn a buck off of all of it, how exactly are a couple blockhead authority figures unrealistic to the point that they spoil your cinematic escape? I mean, it's not like McLean's running for president, right? I'm Cosmo Catalano. Until next time, yippee ki motherfucker.